Moms are great. They're there when you need them. They also have eyes in the back of the head and they can read your mind. But did you also know that mom is key to prevent hacking in your computer systems? So when we talk about mom, we're not talking about your mother. We're talking about an acronym that says a hacker needs a motive, a hacker needs an opportunity, and a hacker needs a method in order to carry out a successful attack. My name is Shad Sluter, and I teach information security at Grand Canyon University. And so we're going through some of the terminology and the introductions to a security course that'll make you an IT professional and better programmer. At the end of this video, I'll show you a quiz, and if you can answer the questions correctly, I'll give you a valuable prize. So stick around. So first of all, think of the word motive. In the movie from Tom Cruise in Mission Impossible, it seems like the systems that he always breaks into are absolutely foolproof. So it seems like the, the motive is so strong that they will overcome any obstacle and risk death in order to get what they need. So whether it's a nuclear launch code or simply a password, the motive is there. So think about your motives or your motives of your hackers. What do you have in your systems that they might want? Of course, the first thing that comes to mind is they probably want money. They want to sell data. There's privacy. There's plans about your company. So the documents that you're working on in your day-to-day -day business might be extremely valuable if somebody wanted to know what was going on inside of your company. Personal data, company finances, customer records. Just think of the Equifax data hack that was a few years ago in 2017, where 150 million people's records of their credit scores, their social security numbers, and any of their financial data was revealed to Chinese hackers. And so see the other video that I've created and how that data hack occurred. But the point is that there's information that you have that is more valuable than you think. And so the motives are stronger for the hackers. So the second item in our mom is the opportunity. So the password on the sticky note is obviously an opportunity for anyone to come and to just use your system. So I've got a question for you. Do you have a secure password? Is your hard drive on your computer actually encrypted? Do you have a, a locked screen account on your Windows or Mac or whatever you're using? Can people just use your computer? How about your phone? Your phone is a gateway to your bank account. Now, in your unencumbered chance that we're talking about, we are looking at ways to prevent it to be easy for the hackers to work with. So, for instance, unencrypted data. Your hard drive is easily encrypted. It doesn't make your computer run any slower. Weak passwords. I've got another video that shows you some of the best practices for using a password. So don't use your mother's maiden name. Don't use your pet's name. Don't use password one, two, three. Those are passwords that are common. But even passwords that you think might be secure are easily hacked in just a matter of seconds with powerful computers these days. So make sure that your password practices are good. Make sure that your permissions are set up properly. So if you have a folder that is private, make sure that it isn't readable by other places on the network. Make sure that your servers, if you're an IT person, make sure your servers are patched. So see the other video that I've created for uh, the Equifax hack where we talk about how that the unpatched server of an Apache strut system led to 150 million people's accounts being uh, hacked. Make sure that your software is written well. So I have another series on how to create uh, secure applications using PHP and a database system. So it'll take you from step 0 to 20 on how to make a nice um, application that is more secure. So opportunity is the part of mom that is the most in your control. You can, you can leave less opportunity. You can leave less surface area for the attackers to find uh, traction and, and get into your systems. So follow good practices and the opportunities for hackers will be less. And they'll probably just go somewhere else to do their hacking. The last is the method. So think about what tools or ways that a person can get into your system. So in this picture here, we have a coffee shop that is giving your uh, Wi-Fi access. Strange that they might have two access points that are named the same thing. Or is it perhaps that there is a method being involved which brings up a man in the middle attack and uh, you are unaware that people are stealing your names. So methods can be a variety of things, not just good cracking tools. Insider information, a compromised employee, a person on the phone who is at customer service can be a method 
to be fooled to give your data away. Uh, Kali Linux and its toolbox and full of apps and scripts is just built for hackers. You don't even have to know how to program to use them. You just know what they are and how they run. And within seconds, a compromised system can be opened. So those are the three parts here. We've got mom. Now I've got a quiz here. So what is the uh, first one here on the list going to be? Is this M-O-M? -M. The reason why a hacker wants to hack into your system, what would you call that? Out of the M-O-M. So if you said this is their motive, you're correct. So the motive is the reason behind the hacker. How about the next part, the tools? The tools used to perform the hack, that would be considered their method. So the method is the particular script or particular way of talking to people to do social engineering. So that's the method. And then the last one is the chance you give the hacker. Well, that one obviously is the leftover, which is opportunity. And so in the quiz, how well did you do? If you got a perfect score, then look at the link below, which will lead you to a login page where you enter your name, birthday, and social security number, and I'll send you a surprise. So congratulations. So mom is the key to prevent hacking. Not your mom, but the motive, the opportunity, and the method that is being involved here. And so make sure that you're a better IT person. So we've reached the end of a collection of terminology on information security. So I've, I've built a Quizlet here. So a Quizlet is a website where you can practice learning vocabulary words. And so copy this exactly as it is and post it, and you'll be able to play some games and prepare for a quiz. If you were in my class, you would happen to know the 17 terms are coming up on a graded quiz. So here's some practice. My name is Shad Sluter, and I teach this course on information security at Grand Canyon University. Please see the playlists and look at the other videos for how to become a better programmer in a secure environment.